Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of Jan and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is a likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube Aquarius, we'll see what you need to know regarding your love life, what you need to know regarding your career, your money, uh, what are the challenges that are coming towards you and what are the opportunities that are coming towards you. Okay, so let's get started now Aquarius and Aquarius, I wish you a very, very happy new year. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I wish that you find the required health, wealth and prosperity and the eternal love that you always wanted. May you find the unconditional love. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Let's get started now. What do you need to know regarding your love life, your career, money, challenges and opportunities for Jan 2023? <clears throat> as far as your love life is concerned we have two of pentacles knight of pentacles king of swords and we have seven of cups as far as your career money is concerned we have lovers nine of pentacles seven of wands and the emperor the, change, uh, the challenges that are coming towards you is justice and the opportunities that are coming are seven of swords. Okay. So Aquarius, the signs that are important for you for the month of Jan are Libra, Gemini, Aries, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm hearing Libra again and again. This is your love spread. And this is your money spread. All right. Number seven is of some importance. Number two is of some importance. Number nine is of some importance. Four is of some importance. You might see a lot of 11, 11, 11, 11 2, 2, 2, 9, 9, 9, 4, 4, 4. So Aquarius, what do you need to know regarding your love life? Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Swords and Seven of Cups. Hmm. You will have a lot of options, Aquarius. Many people are going to show interest in you. Many people will admire you. I see uh, some changes happening to you guys like there is a glow on your face there is a level of confidence there is a... this confidence is coming from some kind of a success that you will be experiencing in the month of Jan okay uh, there is a lot of self A lot of uh, self-awareness, a lot of self-assurance, satisfaction, certainty, okay, about yourself. Like, yes, I can do very well in my life. Yes, I can be a good achiever. Yes, I can do and create my life on my own. And you have created your own life so far, okay. And there is something that is going to happen especially on your career front which we'll talk about it in some time 
but there are some important changes some uh, success that is coming towards you uh, in the month of jan and your confidence will get boosted uh, to a large extent and what i see is like because of that there is a glow on your face there is a solid confidence that is getting reflected from your personality and many people will get attracted towards you because of uh, your personality because of your glow because of the intelligence that will get reflected through conversations people will consider you as someone extremely intelligent and uh, people will admire you a lot okay but that admiration will also come with lot of attraction they will they will be attracted towards you a lot but there will also be a sense that uh they are out of out of the league many people will be interested in you but they will also be aware that you are not reachable or maybe you are out of their league okay so with the knight of pentacles i see uh, aquarius that actually someone is universe is pushing someone towards your direction okay you universe is like bringing you and someone together but with the seven of cups i also see that maybe universe is trying to test are you ready i do you know who is right person for you are you ready to know the right person who is coming towards you are you ready to understand who is right for you who is wrong for you so maybe with the seven of cups uh, you know universe is throwing some test at you maybe some people will come towards you showcasing interest in you Okay with the king of swords I see that you're coming across as defensive and not ready for anyone and everyone what I see is that of course you know like I said you are coming across as someone who is highly self aware about your own needs and your wants and you have the required patience to wait for the right person okay so uh in fact you will see lot of people staring at you in the month of jan that might have already started okay you will notice many people looking at you you will notice many people uh, you know literally staring at your face aquarius uh, you are looking fantastic your personality is also changing maybe you are working on your body you are toning up or toning down your body and uh, you're coming across as a very charming very attractive and a person who has a lot of uh, seductive energy in you in the month of jan so i'm not surprised with the seven of cups actually so like you will actually see a lot of people showing interest in you a lot of people staring at you like literally staring at you okay but you like yeah you can stare do not come close to me okay your soul knows aquarius your soul knows that for so long you are waiting for someone significant there is someone who is meant for you in this lifetime there is one specific person who has been carved out for you and you are waiting for that one specific person and you are also meant for that specific person they also know whoever is coming towards you aquarius they also know i'm talking about the significant person okay the one so they also know that there is someone specific who is meant for them in this lifetime and even they have many people becoming interested in them but they are not showing interest in those people because they know that there is someone specific that is meant for them and they are also showing patience i see actually both of you are moving towards one another okay universe is orchestrating this meet between you and this person will it happen in the month of jan uh the month of jan will be more devoted and dedicated towards your career and some achievements your energy is more focused towards your money your energy is more focused towards your achievements and success that is that is coming towards you 
whatever little time is left in your hand that little time i see like you will just enjoy people showing admiration towards you you will enjoy many people showing interest in you you will enjoy people expressing their feelings towards you you will enjoy like you know people literally staring at you you're going to enjoy that uh, i don't see you entertaining anyone specific in the month of jan because there is an inner knowing aquarius that yes there is someone specific that is meant for me okay so let's see when this person will come towards you i'm hearing four four maybe in the month of april four weeks for some of you for some of you month of april okay can you share a timeline can you share a timeline can you share a timeline when this person will come towards you king of wands yes again i'm hearing fourth so we have a page we have knight in the suit cards we have page knight queen and king so the fourth card i'm telling you in the, the four, number four is important for you guys okay uh maybe in four weeks or the month of april you're gonna meet this person okay let's talk about your money uh the lovers nine of pentacles then we have seven of uh, wands and the emperor so like i told you there are some important events some kind of a massive success is coming towards you maybe you have started a new career and at the start of that career itself you are going to experience a massive success okay and uh, you will be considered as someone who should be taken seriously you will be considered as a highly talented person uh, who is having multiple talents you will be considered as someone uh, from whom there is so much to learn from okay so people will consider you as a very talented person people will come towards you and they may ask you like why don't you teach us regarding your skills and your abilities how you have developed these skills what have you done to uh, you know learn learn about these skills how what is your story and everything people may might come towards you for coaching i don't know there is something new that you are starting aquarius you may write down in the comment section what you are starting although i see that you are being very secretive about it you are not letting the world know what you are doing okay so however you are going to experience lot of success i also see you will be putting in lot of efforts lot of efforts towards whatever you are doing so there is some massive success that is coming towards you with the nine of pentacles i see that your monetary situation is going to improve to a large large extent to a large extent your monetary situation is going to improve and uh, maybe what i see is like there is some kind of a precondition that you have put in your uh, in your mind aquarius that you want to reach a certain level of monetary prosperity or financial independence and after that you will be ready for your love life because somehow i see your love life and your financial independence or your career success is correlated maybe there are some self imposed limitations uh, for you guys you have some goals at the back of your mind maybe you want to reach financial independence or you want to buy a home you want to buy a car and then afterwards i'll be open to love and relationships maybe there is something at the back of your mind which actually has kept the the kind of love that you wanted which has kept that love away from you okay so uh, maybe you guys have this at the back of your mind that i wanted to reach so and so level of success i want to experience so much of independence financial financial independence and prosperity i want to buy a home and there afterwards i'll be ready and open for love and relationships so you have some set targets at the back of your mind what i see is like in fact there is a very strong possibility after jan you are going to meet someone very soon and you will meet someone significant i'm talking your prospective love partner you will meet someone significant uh through work or at work work is going to work will act as a catalyst or maybe you you will meet this person at a at an event okay you are going to attend an event yes you will be attending an event somewhere uh 
maybe this is a spiritual retreat or something like that or uh, you know some some kind of an awareness event uh, an event a two day workshop about, about something i don't see a very long event maybe uh, or even a concert maybe for a couple of hours but you're going to meet this person over there or there is probably if you are an event manager if you are into organizing an event or something like that you're going to meet this person during that event okay for many of you i see it either work is going to act as a catalyst or you are going to meet this person at certain event and you know what there is just one suggestion aquarius that you don't have to put any kind of restrictions on yourself okay just be open to love and relationships things will start falling automatically in place you don't have to be like let me reach this threshold and then i will be i'll re i'll i'll be ready and open to love and relationships and let me achieve this goal and then only i'll be ready for love and relationships let love come when it is meant whenever it is meant to come let it come okay do not put any kind of restrictions it is it is looking like universe is holding this person away from you since real long time okay like maybe for some of you this person was supposed to enter in your life long time ago okay you chose a certain specific path you chose to say to universe like uh, i am ready to experience certain relationships that are not meant for me let me clear off my karma backlog okay and uh, let me clear off uh, let me let me i i need to reach i need to achieve a certain uh, threshold and then i'll be ready for love and relationships like i'm i'm literally getting an energy that the universe is holding this person back from you since real long time because there are some self imposed restrictions from your end itself okay just be be open to love and relationships write down in the affirm, write down in the com, uh, com, comment section below that i'm open to love and relationships so write down this affirmation in the comment section below okay i don't don't impose any kind of restrictions on yourself do not delay the love that is meant to come towards you uh birds are going to be of some important significance okay like you may see some unique birds before you meet this person okay and those birds are actually the messengers from your spirit guides like something that you have never seen in so many years you're going to see some unique birds before you meet this person uh for some of you i'm hearing an eagle like all of a sudden an eagle or an owl you're going to see an eagle or owl and you're going to see that bird like even if you have seen eagle or owl in the past but you're going to see this bird after many months or after many many years okay so that is going to be a significant sign that someone is nearby or some important event significant event is about to change your life to a large extent okay you'll also see a lot of butterflies lot of butterflies something that flies okay that is that is what you're going to see a bird or a butterfly before you meet this person aquarius you are rising up in your life but there is someone who is not ready to accept your your success someone is jealous of you and they don't want to accept the fact that you are rising up this person has seen you in your worst days probably and they were enjoying that fact they did show sympathy to you at that point of time but they were happy to show that sympathy because you are not doing good but now that you are doing good this person is is totally disliking that fact is absolutely disliking this fact that you're doing good uh, in your own life they may try to bring some disreputation towards you but know that you are a very very protected soul you are an absolutely protected soul the emperor sort of signifies that there is a male energy that is watching you there is a male energy that is protecting you this person may be 
someone who has passed away recently a grandfather in if if someone's father has passed away this is a this is a soul that is watching you okay they are trying to protect you they are trying to guide you every now and then okay they are trying to tell you that i'm there for you do not worry okay and uh, the soul is very protective about you very very protective about you uh, aquarius okay this soul has always and always been there for some of you this is a this is a very old ancestor okay they know they know your uh, your importance you are you are also a very old soul aquarius who has taken birth in this lifetime and probably you are not aware about your true potential and this person is always there to protect you till the time you realize your true potential okay this person is there to protect you to guide you this person is guiding you uh, you know especially now that you are walking walking the path of abundance i see a lot of abundance coming towards you by the way especially if any one of you are uh, related to finance field you know consultancy regarding finances or marketing and sales is also what i'm hearing uh a lot of money is coming towards you anybody related to anyone working in investment banking or stock market for that matter uh forex and indices trading and etc so if you guys are doing something related to money money finances working in banking industry financial industry you guys are going to make some big chunks in the month of uh, in the month of jan okay otherwise also i see that you are going to make some good money there is an ancestor who wants you to grow to a large extent there is an ancestor who is helping you break that generational curse aquarius uh, there there is an ancestor who wants to achieve that humongous amount of financial abundance that is meant to come towards you okay there there was a generational curse uh which was given to your lineage in the past and uh, probably that curse was about you know not having enough of money or not having enough of finances but the curse has become extremely weak the effect of curse has become extremely weak and this ancestor whoever this male energy is they want they they probably know that you are someone who is meant to break this financial curse you are someone who is meant to bring that financial abundance not only for yourself but also for the upcoming generations and they are there constantly that is why i'm getting this energy of you being heavily heavily protected there is a purpose for you guys in this lifetime aquarius okay and you are meant to achieve something in this lifetime you have to do some meditation i would suggest that when when you meditate focus on your third eye chakra your third eye chakra is between your eyebrows two eyebrows exactly in between that okay so when you are meditating focus on your third eye chakra you will you will get to know a lot of things during meditation is what i'm getting okay right so what are the challenges that are coming towards you we have justice so you cannot tolerate injustice as what i'm getting okay and you you keep on standing up uh, f- even for small small situations where you where you see injustice as being done either to yourself or to others you don't mind fighting for yourself or even for other people uh if if you see injustice being served uh to you or to someone else but what i see is like sometimes the universe is saying that you should also allow other people to stand up for themselves you cannot be always there for other people okay they have to learn to protect themselves they have to learn to stand up for themselves and you have this generous heart and you always you know restricting and limiting yourself is is a challenge for you especially when you see injustice some of you may be working in the law field by the way the opportunity that is coming towards you okay so what i'm hearing with the seven of swords is like the opportunity to take back what was yours maybe something was stolen away from you but now you are getting an opportunity to take back what was yours maybe a person was stolen away from you by the third party 
and that person is coming back to you with an apology or maybe something was actually literally stolen from you some valuable thing was literally stolen from you you are getting an opportunity to have it back is what i'm getting all right aquarius i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe comment on below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care and bye bye